Hey, what's up guys? Another knife review. Uh, today I'm talking... Let's try that again. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving that in. Hey, what's up guys? Um, <laughs> talking about a knife review today. I'm not talking about a knife review. I'm doing a knife review. It's friggin' A. <clears throat> hey, what's up guys? Um, <laughs> uh, all right, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna leave all that in. All right, guys, obviously you're with me here. I'm trying. I'm trying, but I'm failing. So let's just get in this. I'm doing a knife review. Uh, I don't know why I even say that. It's so obvious. I mean, we're looking at knives and you can read the title and stuff. It's just like a waste of time. It's filler. You know, like you say hi to someone, you see them on the street, like, hey, what's up? Just because that's what we do. It's filler. <laughs> you ever ask someone how they're doing? Like, hey, how's it going? How's the family? And it's always the same. Oh, yeah, I'm doing good, doing good. Same old, same old. You know, another day, same crap, blah, blah, blah. It's all these, like, cliche sayings, right? Uh, <laughs> one day I wanted someone to ask me, like, oh, how's it going? I go, oh, thank God. Let's sit down. I want to talk about it. Just to see their face. Like, oh, no, I didn't, I didn't want to talk about it. I was <laughs> just being nice. All right, all right. Phew. Knives. Let's talk about knives. Yes, I'm looking at a Frost Cutlery, Whitetail Cutlery, Cutlery Cutlery, um, Trapper. Now, first of all, Frost Cutlery is a massive company. They've been around forever. Forever. And that reminds me of, did you ever see the movie Sandlot? I love that movie. When I was a kid, that was one of my favorite movies. I watched it over and over again. And the uh, <laughs> kid's like, forever. Forever. And if you never saw the movie, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you have, you might be smiling. Or even laughing. <sighs> yeah, Frost Cutlery. I mean, they suck. I'm sorry, Frost Cutlery blows. Except, except, um, Steel Warrior. Now, they have all these, like, subdivisions, okay? They're Frost Cutlery, but they have a bunch of different names too because I guess they know like everyone caught on to the fact that they suck so they have to keep changing their name. It's not like they're changing their name, it's just all these subdivisions to make it sound cool. Like Whitetail Cutlery, that sounds awesome. If I held a box like this and I said, guys, check out this new knife from Whitetail Cutlery, you might be thinking, huh, never heard of Whitetail Cutlery. New company? Sounds pretty good. Is it gonna be a good knife? But then like I'm talking and my thumb slips and you go, Oh no, frost cutlery. <laughs> They're like, eh, get away. Yeah, they do, they suck, but what do you do? I have a long history of frost cutlery. You know, nine, ten years old buying knives, and I bought hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of knives. A lot of them were frost cutlery because they were four or five dollar knives, you know? Um, that's just what it is. This one happened to be a free knife from my friend at Christmas time. And uh, I do love the fact that it was a nice gift and everything. And I'm going to rip on the knife, but it's not, it has nothing to do with the person who gave it to me. In fact, uh, he's my friend Will. And I met Will. Will's the guy who uh, came up and met me, and we went and bought fireworks, and we had a great time. with. The, uh, he brought one of his friends. and In fact, one of these days, Will, we're going to hang out again. I want to take you to the range. But anyway, um, yeah. I mean, this box is free knife because it was free for me, but if you wanted to buy this thing, it'd be about 10 bucks or so. You can get it from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, I would not suggest it, honestly. I think if you're looking for traditional slip joint knives uh, and you just don't want to fork over the money for a case or like a Queen or Shat and Morgan or whatever, um, like a really good high quality slip joint or even, Jesus, a custom, man, that's something I never ever see on YouTube. And it's probably one of the nicest knives, like in general, some of the nicest knives out there are full-blown custom slip joints. You see, first of all, you see tons and tons of production knives, okay? Production folders, fixed blades, whatever. That's like the most common. Then some channels will show you some custom knives, but they're always like custom fixed blades. Uh, you still, I mean, nowadays you kind of see a lot more custom folders and you're like, oh, that's so cool. And then you're like, oh, 500 bucks, forget that. And like, you just, you don't care. But I swear, I don't think I've seen one YouTube video showing a custom slip joint. And there's some amazing, amazing makers out there putting some awesome work out. And some of these custom slip joints can be as cheap, I don't wanna say cheap, but as far as custom knives go, and the work and detail that has to go into a slip joint to come out the way they do, 
250 bucks to like 400 bucks for a lot of them. I mean, it's still really amazing. I, they can climb and be in the thousands, but anyway, it has nothing to do with this. I don't know why I'm still rambling. I really should start the video over, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah, this is not a custom. This is a cheapo knife. Uh, let's just look at the knife already. I've been just blabbing, blabbing, blabbing. So frost cutlery in general sucks, but I think the point I was trying to make is if you want a more affordable or cheaper, that's what it comes down to. It just sounds nicer if you say more affordable, but basically you're broke and you don't have money. So you want to get, still get a new knife. So you want something that's cheap. Nothing wrong with that. Been there, done that. Um, check out Rough Riders as a company. Awesome. Um, check out, um, if you have to get something from Frost Cutlery, their Steel Warrior line is really good for the money. Seriously, they're very fine um, slip joints. And in some cases, it's kind of, with the, the cheaper stuff, even Rough Rider, it's totally hit and miss. You'll get one and it'll be like amazing. And you'll get this, you know, another the exact same knife and it'll be total junk. So it's really a gamble. It's like playing the lottery. But anyway, this is not a Steel Warrior. And uh, it doesn't look bad. Like watching a video, you're like, oh, it doesn't look so bad. Um, but like there's sharp corners here and there. The scale itself is falling off. I mean, this is brand new. I've never used this, but you see the wiggle in there? Now it looks like there's two brass pins or three pins here, right? Well, let's see. If I were to wiggle this so I can get my nail on the back here, I can pop this scale off, which you're really not supposed to be able to do. And we will see that there's only one pin. These are decorative. It's just a piece of brass in there and it's glued on. You can see the glue here. So the only thing holding the scale on is the one pin and some glue. Nothing wrong with that, I mean, you know. And I will re-glue this because I will always have this knife because it came from my friend Will. And Will's a cool cat. Actually, the one pin is a snug enough fit. I don't even have to glue it, but I will go back and glue it later. But like, if you look at the um, the fit finish on here, there's a lot of little wee waws and you know space um, gaps and stuff like that. Come on, focus, focus, will you? It's hard with a glare. You know, like little gaps here and there and gouges. And I mean, for a brand new knife, it looks like it's used. And there are some scratches here and there. Um, and like I said, some sharp corners. It does come sharp. Uh, it's very, very stiff in opening. I mean, it feels like it's rusted or something, but it's not, it's just rough. Um, it's not that sharp. I mean, shave a little bit of nail off there, but no surprise, coming nice and close, and there it is. China, there's a glare. I, heard, I hear thumping all the time in my house. And because I'm in the woods, there's tons of trees all around my house. I mean, you guys have seen the outside. And I got this fat squirrel that keeps jumping on the roof of my house and like running across it and jumping off to another tree. It's like a little gymnastic fatty. And it's just, it's really annoying. Cause like I'm sitting watching TV or I'm doing whatever, I'm on the computer and I hear like thump. And I'm like, what was that? <laughs> oh my God, what was that? Cause I mean, you don't want to hear, especially at night. It happens at night too. And he never sleeps. It's just like thump. I'm like, okay, what was that? And I hear like a scurry across the roof, like doo 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 doo. And then just, I, I, occasionally I'll look out my bedroom window and I'll catch him like in flight, this fat squirrel body like leaping at the tree and just like <clears throat> squish against the tree and like scurry down it. It's just ridiculous. I don't even know why I'm telling that because I just heard the noise, that's why. But anyway, um, overall, I mean, it's a pretty cool looking knife. It's just cheap. It's cheap quality. The steel, it's not going to cut very well for you. You'll end up tearing your boxes open and stuff. Um, it's got a nice little pattern on it though. The yellow scales with the, uh, the rifle on there. So, I mean, if you got like 10 bucks and you want a nice little display knife, uh, it's not bad for that. Honestly, if you have a display case or something, it's actually something great you can do. Obviously people who are into artwork and stuff, they'll buy artwork and they'll display it, right? If you're into knives, even though you get really nice high quality knives, the average person that's walking in your home, they're not going to be able to look into a knife case and see a Sabenza and a, you know, a Rick Hinder XM18 and some Microtex and a couple of Dalton Autos. They're not going to look at these knives and be like, oh my God, you have Dalton Autos. 
they're not gonna know the difference, okay? Get yourself like 100 bucks, all right? Buy a bunch of $6 knives in a variety of colors and shapes and sizes. And not like Chinese knives, but you know, you get a bunch of these classier slip joints and stuff and load up a display case and hang it on your wall. It'll look great, it'll represent you're a knife person. And trust me, if it's in a, a nice glass display case with wood, someone's gonna like walk in your house who knows nothing about knives and be like, oh my God, look at those knives, those are nice. And just nod your head, yeah, yeah, thank you. And move on with your day. You know, they're not gonna be able to appreciate it how other knife people appreciate it. And if you do get a knife person in your house, they're just gonna crack up. They have a bunch of frost cutlery knives in your case. <laughs> so to me, it's a win-win. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this review. I don't even know you can call this a review. There's not much going on here except for a bunch of rambling. But I did wanna just mention that frost cutlery sucks, but it's such a part of my history. I love seeing the name, I do. And if I see frost cutlery knives, I still buy them. Yes, I still buy them fully knowledgeable that it's junk. Total crapola. But you know what? I'll always have a place in my heart for Frost Cutlery. And all their subdivisions, all their different names to hide the fact that it's old Frost. Old Jim Frost. What a character. I used to watch Jim Frost. He'd come on to uh, the late night, you know, QVC and Home Shopping Network, the knife shows they had on there. And that is hilarious. And, uh... I think I showed, <laughs> I have a couple of autographs from those guys. I wrote a nice letter and I got their like, their, their autographs because I used to watch the show all the time. Anywho, I don't usually say that. I don't know why I just said anywho. That's not part of like my speech. I'm going now, I'm tired. I don't really have anything to do. I'm just shutting the camera off. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and uh, I will see you soon. Take care.